Hello, guys! This is Pokemon Worry Cat 13, back with another episode of Fire Emblem Sacred Stones! Woo! Last time, we, um. Well, uh, we rescued Tana, and we got Gilliam, Franz, Vanessa, and Mulder now on our sides. And so that makes up for a total of, let's see here, now we have... That's six! We have six people! And now we are going to start chapter two! The Protected. And here we are at the world map. And so we have the whole entire map of Magvel right here. I know, it's amazing, it's gorgeous. So we have Border Milan, we got Castle Frelia, and here's our next destination, Aide. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted party of vassals. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. Chasing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grado. The group's first stop is the remote village of Ide, which was, until very recently, a part of Reneus. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Reneus with her own eyes. Chapter 2, The Protected. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, I love this music. So nostalgic. Okay, story! Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Reneus and pass through Seraphiu into Grado territory. Hmm, that would seem a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can avoid any run-ins with Grado's soldiers. Princess Erica, may I have your leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. We're yours to command, your highness. Will you give your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen though, Vanessa. Yes, your highness, I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very... sincere. Sincere. Yes, quite. Uh-oh. We got trouble. Hey boss, we found more villages right for the pickin'. One, two, three, ha ha ha. I love a good war. With all these soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Dad! Bandit's approaching! Hmm. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Let's start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down any fool who... Enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. Uh, oh crap. Village is destroyed. Ugh. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I am your son. I won't be being so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son! Ah, this looks serious! I must report back to Princess Erica at once. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little as attention as possible, but... But I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how far are the villagers? I spotted one injured person. He appeared to be just a child. Father Mulder, can you or staff help him? Well, yes. I can heal his injuries with my staff, but... I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Princess, please leave this to me. 
I shall bring the boy here. Alright, Vanessa, it's up to you. Very well, I'm off. Alright, we have our first rescue mission done by the awesome Pegasus Knight, Vanessa. And yeah, and we also have Mulder, who is a priest who can heal guys up. Which is very, very convenient, and as you can see, our first priority priority is Ross, who is a journeyman. Journeyman, whatever. So, first of all, I am actually going to go here. This is terrible. What are we going to do? Those bandits are so close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed. Perhaps... People, listen to me. You must close the village gates immediately. Hurry, before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from the... from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am... er... My name is Arena. I am a mercenary. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry, it's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I am Selena, a general in Grado's army. Ah! Is something wrong? Uh, yes, you are a general in Grado's army. That's what's wrong. Uh, should we trust this woman, guys? Maybe not. <laughs> no, uh, nothing. It looks like these villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I'm to leave for the capital immediately and cannot stay. You're armed and you claim to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um... Is there a problem? No, of course I'll help them. It's just, you're one of Grado's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers, they're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I've petitioned your aid. Take this as payment. And we got a red gem. Yep. Alright. So, now on to the rescue mission. We are going to rescue Ross. And then we are going to get the heck out of these... Way out of this way as possible. Yeah. So, we got Archer right here. Who thankfully will not be able to strike Vanessa. Because Vanessa's a Pegasus Knight. And we do not want anything to happen to her. We don't want any deaths. So yeah, um, all right, we got um, an elixir from that village, and now let us continue on our merry old way. And yeah, all right, we got some bandits moving. Ooh, ouch! Gotta help Garcia soon. Okay. That's smart. Well, that's smart that he went to the fortress, though. Alright. Uh, we are going to... Drop... Ross right here. And then we are going to have Vanessa wait right here. Then we are going to heal up Ross with the staff. With a heal staff. We're gonna heal him up. And so, just so you know, Ross is a trainee unit. Uh, which means that, um... He is weak, but he only needs 10 levels before he can be promoted into either a fighter or a pirate. And trainee units are actually really good. Not gonna lie, they're really good. I used Ross in my last playthrough, along with another training unit, and they were really good. Ross makes a really good warrior. Alright, well, as you can see, Ross and Garcia are green. That means they're neutral. The enemy is red, and we are blue. And sometimes we can promote, doesn't matter, enemy or neutral units. And here, have Erica talk with Ross, and... Yeah. Hey, listen! My village is being attacked by bandits! My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out. Alright, just 
Just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boys somewhere safe. No, wait! I'm going to fight too! But... My father is out there all alone, fighting in those bandits. I've got to get back to him as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me! Alright, I can see you're not going to be swayed. But you must promise you will stay close to us. And there we have it! We have recruited someone in battle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, what to do here? Um, we got a bandit. He can go to the shop. Right, let's actually have Seth go. Um, yeah. Alright, let's have him hold an iron sword. And I don't know if we actually need the armory. Probably not. It doesn't hurt. Actually, no, I do need the armory. What am I saying? Okay, um, I want an iron sword or two. Yeah, that's good. And then, hmm, what else? We got a slim sword, we got a slim lance, we got an iron lance, an iron axe. Uh, I'd say an iron axe wouldn't hurt. Alright, um, no, 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 okay, what else do I want? Um, I think I'm good, well, an iron lance wouldn't hurt either. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm good. Alright, I'd say I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, let's go to the well, no, I say I'm good. Alright, and... Alright, we're good! And you're going to miss, and we are going to not kill you yet. But we will eventually kill you. Eventually. Oh, you missed. Dang it. Okay. Oh crap, that archer though. That that archer scares me. Please, like... No, dang it. Okay. Well, that archer is coming right for Vanessa, so I am going to rescue. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, who can t Okay, there we go. Alright, and then we will have Ross talk to Garcia! Dad! Ross, boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I could just run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross. Alright, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. And we've got father and son! Yay! Alright, uh, we are going to... Oh, I don't... Oh, it doesn't hurt. It really doesn't hurt. Alright, we have that archer to worry about now with Vanessa around. Yeah, we gotta avoid that archer. Okay, we... yeah. Okay, um, what to do? How far are those bands gonna move? I'd say we're good. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of what to do. We are going to... Yeah, let's trade. Give her an iron sword. Red jackal. Mm, no. And then we are going to attack. There we go. Should be good. 
Alright. We got a level up for friends. That's nice. Alright. Uh, it's really hard for me to talk about things when I'm playing Fire Emblem because... Well, you know, it's, it's Fire Emblem. It, it, it distracts me and stuff. So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard for me to talk about things here, but I am going to do my best. Oh, that archer scares me so. Okay, we are going to attack. We got an iron sword here. Okay, um. Uh, how? No. Um. Okay. So the archer cannot hit Vanessa yet. Alright, let's use a javelin. Yeah, let's go for a javelin. Oh, crap. You gotta be kidding me! Why? You failed me! You failed me, game! You failed me! Why'd you fail me? Um. Dang, he has a love one race. Holy crap. Okay, um. Hmm. I'll figure out what to do here. Oh! Let's see. Okay, perfect. Uh, now Erica should be able to kill the bandit. Because I want her to get some experience here. And the iron sword isn't as powerful as the rapier. So, yeah. But I want to save the rapier for, like, other things. Because, well, Erica isn't exactly the strongest. She really isn't. Her... I'm being honest when I say this, but her brother is better. Alright, um... We're actually going to give the silver lance. We want to keep the steel sword. Then we're going to take care of the iron sword. Well... Nah. Okay. We're good right there. Um, hmm. Alright, that should be good. We're gonna put Gilliam in the tree. And there, wait, can the archer hit Vanessa? Nope. Okay. She is safe. For now. We gotta kill that archer! <laughs> we have to kill that archer! Okay. Ouch! Dang it! Crap. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Oh, that archer just scares me. Fine, I'll use a rapier! Yeah. You know what? What the heck? What the heck? Seth? What? Wait a minute. Who, who are you? He is Seth. The amazing knight. Who is going to kill you? With a critical hit. Take that! Die! <laughs> Last. Die! Dang it, Seth. You didn't level up. <laughs> you still at level one. Lovely. That's just lovely. Alright, um... We are going to take out this archer right here. Die! Die! <laughs> Woo! Alright, um... Okay, can't hit Ross. Iron sword you, and you're dead. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Die. Die! Yes! I'm promoting killing people! So what? Uh, what to do? Um, that is going to do nothing. What the heck? Go! Yes! Stab him in the chest. Ouch. Crap. Ernax. Die! Die, I say die! Dang it! Ouch! Okay, well, the next attack... Alright, well, he can't move much, so there is that. We aren't gonna reach that village. It gives you pure water, though. Mm, 36... 56... Ooh, crap. Alright, let's heal up Garcia here. Alright, um, we'll just wait and then have Ross go to here. Don't tell me they're get. Yeah, they're gonna gang up on her, aren't they? Ha! Good thing we're in the trees. And die. Yeah, that one village has pure water, I believe. Mm, not gonna find. I'm not gonna find that to be all that useful. So we're good. Dead. Yes. Erica gets some experience. And there he goes. Ouch. Die. Die, I say die. Curse you. Curse you. I hate you. Okay, um... France! Do the finishing blow! Please! Hit! Hit! For goodness sakes. Gah. What the heck? What the heck? Err... Uh, yeah, I don't need that pure water. Or whatever it is. Really? You're gonna hit Gilliam now? Ouch. The thing is a defensive wall. Holy crap, Gilliam. Though I'm not gonna be using him later on. And we defeat the enemy! Finally! Okay. Let's see what they have to say. You say, my son. Oh, you may thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Reneus, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Reneus until around ten years ago. When I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Reneus. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Reneus once again? I'm sorry. I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what, had my, what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies. I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I have no regrets. I'm the boy's father. You! You blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross! If you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me, I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give up, give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, like you. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. 
You want to challenge me, father? I'm a fighter, the best in all of Ide. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad! Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. I've raised him as best as I could, but he's right. I have nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad! Thank you so much for your help. Please stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, well... My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you. My father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift. But you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Renaissance was invaded, things have been become so dangerous around here. There are gold hun hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked are Bosbo's bandits. They are cruel beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they sold us some travelers and, oh, it was awful. I... I can't believe such things. Oh, Reneus is finished. Mark my words. The Grotto Empire has stolen our future. Oh, that's not good. Our only hope against them was that Prince Imperium would prevail, but... Rumor has it that he's on the verge of being crushed by Grotto's vast numbers. Uh-oh, that's not good. These are dark days. Travel with care. I will, sir! Imperium. And we have a flashback. Three years ago. It's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Imperium. Let's begin. Tell me, though, why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet... And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but... I am your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So I would like to learn something of swordplay, if only a little. And maybe someday I can protect you in your time of need. So please, Imperium. Alright, alright. How could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never. <laughs> so cute. They're awesome! I love them! They're awesome twins! Brother and sister! I love them! Why am I talking like that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm crazy. Oops. Beg your pardon? Hey! Princess, are you alright? Y yes Someone bumped into me is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness, where is your bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone. Where could it be? Did that man? I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father, but Imperium needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, Princess. We must retrieve your bracelet regardless of the cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. Well, things are starting to get interesting. What is that? Why is that bracelet so important? Well, maybe we'll find out in the next chapter. Maybe. Well, <laughs> I guess that's it. We got some more recruits and stuff. So, yeah. I guess that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, peace. Bye-bye, guys. I love you all. Later.